everybody, my name is Rachel Lored and welcome back to Kane. Oh, I love this game. Oh, it's my favorite game so much. Oh boy. This was this was a fun game, and I haven't played this in a while. But I remember it vividly. Oh man, I sure do. So let's see where we left off. The machine looks almost out of place next to this gruesome medieval tableau. Oh, come on. Are you really going to hold yourself like that the whole game? Active PDT. Well, we got a little bug over here. That's nice. So we quit. Alright, so so far we know A. This lady did not intend to be pregnant. Okay? She was very, very clearly not intending to have this baby. Two. She was supposed to have a procedure to take care of said issue she f something happened like she fell asleep or something she fell asleep I would assume yeah in in the procedure she was completely taken out by anesthesia or something and then she wakes up nine months later in a horribly decrepit environment with monsters and disembodied voices great awesome right uh what do I need? Um, melted wax candles. Okay, so we took some kind of gross fucking meat smoothie or something. Do I need to take this or what? I think I need to... Crusted blood and candle wax and something that smells like ammonia. Ugh, gross! I feel like I need to find... What are you just... Oh, okay. Great! I feel like I need to find this card. Atmosphere control terminal. This is where I was, but... Oh, that's the whole... Okay, so that's both parts. Oh, dude, come on! Come on! Alright, let's see. What do we have here? How many trick mark? It looks like this is locked, though. I don't think there's a way... Access denied. I can access it. Thanks. Sealed circular airlock. These are all going to be sealed. All right. Um, let's see. Are you not going to go back? Okay, fine. So what do I have on me? Sealed protein powder container. Mangled scalpel. All right. So I think I can go back and <laughs> grab... Oh, got it. <laughs> That's terrible! She does not need to be in this environment! This must be a side effect. You're still asleep. <laughs> yeah! Gotta keep telling yourself that! No, it's fine! Totally! Yeah, you're still asleep. Yeah. No. That's good. You're asleep. Alright, do I need to hold this? Can I... Oh, I guess not. Okay. Yeah, it's gonna be the same, okay, same situation I was in before, but I need to do something with flames and smoke lick around the scalded mass. Something about mother. Happy Mother's Day! <laughs> Come on! This is seriously the worst Mother's Day ever. Come on, guys. This isn't funny. Do I need a, I don't know. Can I, can I get juice out of this mannequin? Can I get, can I get buff? Can I get them gains? No? Alright. Guess not. Hmm. Maybe I can pry... Seems like a bad idea. Well, you're gonna do it, aren't you? <laughs> oh, that's a no then. <laughs> Her breathing heavily and sighing at me means no. Hmm. What do we need to do? Sorry, kiddo. I don't know what I was thinking. <laughs> boy, oh boy, these point and click games and these puzzles and stuff are good. Whoa, overhang. I can. What? What? No! Are you kidding me? There's no way. Okay, yeah, cut the part out where her stomach's like. Burr, burr. I can't move because it's nine months pregnant belly. Jeez, dude. 
Okay, well, I mean, this is kind of cool. That's neat, I guess. Whoa. Jeez, what? Alice is sick. Clumps of her hair were falling out where I brushed it before her bedtime story last night. And this morning, she was listless and pale and leaky. Gross, dude! Mother says the food in the facility is bad! And just to be safe, I've started feeding her protein powder from my own stash. But I think it's something with her IV lines. We pump a lot of unregulated experimental chemicals through the hosts, and maybe their blood has become compta- What is going on in this universe? I need to find a new source, perhaps a sample from the brood. <sighs> My sister has helped Trump's getting busted snooping around Kieran's menagerie again, and I need to resupply my blood gas canisters anyway. Besides, it's an opportunity for scientific <laughs> research. Like Dr. Adams would quip, you know what I'm saying? <laughs> nice. Nice. Nice call back there. I don't get it, but I laugh anyway. Mother says I need to laugh at jokes or people will think I'm creepy. Is this the guy I stabbed to death? Aw, oh, man. I've decided to make a list of behavioral prompts and appropriate responses because the social stuff can get complicated. So obviously this guy has some learning to do. <laughs> behavioral prompts and appropriate responses. Laugh if somebody makes a joke. How does he know what a joke is if he... Blame Joseph if, somebody, if something else complains that body parts are going missing from the bio waste disposal units, or blame one of the cane techs instead. Lucy's responding to the new treatment. Lucy is Alice. Was Alice. I think the name suits her better since she got her new face last week. Come on, what? She just looks more like a Lucy now. So this guy was... So Kane is, what, the ship? She had an intern once named Lucy. She had the same freckles on her nose. That was before, though. The other me, when I was much older. It's confusing. I was older. I've asked Dr. Adams about that, and he explained that because of the accident, my memories are not always reliable. So it's possible. I dreamed up that part about her subsequent vivisection, but the dreams and the tears and the way her organs gleamed in the surgical light seemed so real and more than a bit- Oh, what?! What?! Go. Oh, what is- what is- oh my god, what is this game, dude?! This is not okay! One interesting, if somewhat unexpected, consequence of the new blood transfusion source is that Lucy now excretes a musical substance. Not entirely dissimilar in the effect to the brood gas. Oral ingestion certainly produces a comparable animal. <laughs> what are you doing, dude? I've started scraping it off her skin and storing it in specimen jars because mother says licking my own sister is... Don't lick your sister! <laughs> Whatever, but now I can carry it around with me and use it when the pain becomes too much. So it's also more practical this way. Jesus, dude, really? Oh. I'm committed now, I'm committed. So here's the story, right? This guy's backstory. Work has been very busy. Two batches of hosts had to be determined. Ugh. Two batches of hosts had to be terminated ahead of schedule due to a series of malfunctions with mother's product viability evaluation chip. There's been a lot of engineers and cleaners in and out of the lab, so I've moved Lucy from the storage closet to the atmospheric control room for now. My reputation around the facility is problematic enough already. I can see why! You're looking at your sister, dude! And I don't need somebody fighting her and making things even worse. Mother says they wouldn't understand. They just don't get me, Mom. I'm just not cool enough, I guess. There's also much more space in the atmospheric control room. So as soon as I've resolved the issues with her left leg, I think I'll teach Lucy how to do the waltz. Pretty sure he's talking about the monstrous meat marionette, okay? That's the context here. <laughs> I've been reading about maggot therapy for Jesus Christ for treating necrosis, and a sample of Kieran's larvae recently turned up in the lab. Time for more scientific research! You know what I'm saying? The arm chip. 
failures have made Dr. Adams even more anxious than usual, and today I heard him asking Joseph about irregularities in the lab security access log. I've even I've seen Joseph lurking around the lab with a woman late at night sometimes, but he told Dr. Adams. He doesn't know anything about it. Dr. Adams believed him because he believes everything Joseph tells him. Or maybe Dr. Adams just doesn't want Joseph to get into trouble for some reason. The way he so obviously ignores Joseph's uh, extracurricular activities with the hosts, for example. Eh, hey, it's extracurricular activities, eh? Eh? Jesus Christ, he's really protective of the man. So this guy clearly... He's not some oaf. He was just some dude in a big suit. I wonder- this next one has to explain... Has to explain something. Where I came from. What happened. I had to amputate Lucy's left leg last night. Although the megatherapy showed some superficial improvement initially, the necrotic progression was apparently already too advanced, and parts of the limb had started to liquefy. Cool. What a mess! We got a new batch of hosts from Kane Family Planning to prep for second stage product incubation this week. So I should be able to find a suitable replacement donor. The problems with Mother have persisted on and off, however, and she says the engineers want to wipe and reinstall her operating system. I can't allow this to happen. What if Mother doesn't love me anymore? What if she forgets me? Dude, you have some problems. Okay, yeah, okay, so this guy is insane. I mean, yeah, this guy... Something is clearly wrong, okay? Hadley is sick again. Oh, Hadley is Lucy. Used to be Lucy. I've decided to call her Hadley now because I saw the name on a host's file. And I think it's really pretty. The host is really pretty too. So is her left leg. Anyway. I suspect that Hadley's new illness is related to the fungus that's contaminated the air vents all over the facility, which means a total lockdown at this level. And her mouth and nostrils are clogged with a slimy substance and her lung biopsy revealed startling but impressive range of my mycotoxin of unknown taxonomy. See? This guy's not stupid. Several of her teeth have fallen out, uh, and her mucosal excretions smell like ammonia. Dude, gross. Between this and the recent incidents with Mother, I've been thinking about an escape plan. <laughs> Getting Hadley and Mother to the elevator will be difficult, though, and even if I could, my lack of a PDT won't allow escape. So are you telling me this guy doesn't- like, I read this for no reason? Ugh. So there you have it. Essentially, this guy had a daughter. Oh, no, his little sister. Okay. So he had a sister. And over time, went fucking insane. And is now, well, not anymore since he's dead, but transformed her into a horrific, horrific monster. I mean, I hope that voice is not Alice. That would be fucked. <laughs> that would be quite fucked. Matter of fact, that would be incredibly fucked. Whoa, jeez. Oh, come on. Oh. I don't know what I'm... Oh, so this... Okay. Oh, I had it. Alright, let me do this real quick. See if I get somewhere. Okay guys, so we're back because I had to actually look up how to do this next part. It was not clear at all that this is what I had to do. I didn't know you could combine items, so you didn't see it, but I actually combined the scalpel and the protein powder. And here's the clue. This filthy, greasy terminal screen has somehow managed to avoid any significant damage in the process. So this is what I have to do next. And, because I have the protein powder, now I can see the fingerprints. There we go. <laughs> oh, this is gonna be a nightmare! 
Ah, uh, I will do my very, very best to figure out the puzzles on my own, and if I can't, I will look it up. I'm not one of those people who are just like, Oh, I gotta figure it out on my own. I'm gonna get stuck here for eight days, and then I'll figure it out on my own. It's like, it's a game. If you guys want to do it on your own and figure it out, go for it. Get this game. It's, hmm. Like I said, for, for as much as I give this game grief because it's gross and just fucking messed up to me, I highly recommend you try it out. Try to solve the puzzles on your own and go for it, okay? So, diagnostics program. Uh, well. You worked. Oh, I knocked the thing loose! Okay, good. Let's go down here to the empty void. I like how both, like, this is the empty void, and this is the empty void. It's just, this is the empty void that I can go down to, and there's a path! It should have been named something else, like, semi-not-empty-void. Surgical blade is here. Yeah, so you climb up a freaking you know, six-foot-tall thing, but you can't reach to grab something. Whatever. Ugh. Man, being a woman is tough. You have to deal with actually carrying the baby to term and all that shit. Mm -mm. And in a horror movie, I can't offhand think of a horror movie. I'm sure there's a ton of them. Oh, I'm sure there's a ton of them. But I can't offhand think of one that has specifically to deal with like a super pregnant main protagonist, you know? Oh, God. Produces feelings of extreme euphoria when ingested. Good. Hey, why don't you drink this? Put it in your mouth! I'm sure it has good sustenance for you and your baby. Can you imagine? She's gotta be hungry at this point. Jeez. Tired. She's gotta have really gross feet. She's got no shoes on! Ugh, oh, man. That's not okay. There was a specific place... I can't... So obviously this is the next thing to use, but I'm not sure where... Ah, here we go. Ah, exposed inhalation. Come on. Alright, so... That's the thing, if there's nowhere else to go... The tools that you get should reveal a new... Yeah, let's go down! Sounds like fun! Towards the screaming. Yeah! <laughs> yeah! Oh, this game is gonna fuck with me. <laughs> Oi! Is somebody there? <laughs> Get out! I said there's somebody there! I can't see shit through this bleeding plasma shield. Hello? What the fuck? How you get in here, right? You think I'm fake? You're taking the piss? You were a spy or something? What? Of course not. This slag makes you believe, all right? Just head down and show me this part, babe. Well, listen here, bitch. Just come a little closer, and I'll teach you what I've said this part. No, no, man. You hey, just have at it. Oh, yeah, you're fine. Eh. I don't feel as bad about the screams after all. It's... Jesus Christ. Manage power output. Can I, um... Oh, he seemed just fine before. Jesus Christ. Guys, this... I am... I don't know. I am so close. I am so close to just leaving it here. This is not... Like... You know, just starting off on YouTube, you kind of do a whole bunch of stuff to get a good variety in your games and your playthroughs and practice and whatnot. It's great stuff, you know what I mean? 
This is nuts. I don't know if this is the kind of content I want on this channel. I don't know. That's fucked up, dude! Come on! But anyway... I think I'm gonna leave it here for now. I... I don't know. Oh my god. I, I think I'm gonna leave it here. Like, it's, it's, it's not even so much... Just, this subject matter is extremely touchy for me. And it almost makes me too uncomfortable to play. We'll put it that way. Not even so much for you guys, but like, this is touching some sh really shitty stuff, okay? Like I said, I don't know. So, if you want me to keep playing, let me know in the comments what you think. I would absolutely love to know how you feel about this, how you feel about me, about the channel, and how these three things intersect, <laughs> because I'm not sure. I'm not sure. I'm not sure I'm going to continue with this game, like I said, because of the content. We'll have to see. Let me know what you think. If I continue this, I'll need all the mangled meat protein powder I can muster, so... If I continue, I'll see you guys in the next episode. Bye.